Hey, welcome into the Census Update. I'm Al Tips, filling in for Ricky Tips, and I've got uh, Bill Anderson with me. And Bill, you're kind of the chairman overall of the Census this year, aren't you? Yes, sir. Uh, we got together back, I guess it was October, November, earlier this year. Several of us from all the cities got together, all the, the leaders, and came up with a good plan on how to get most people involved in filling out their census so we'd have good numbers for the Census Bureau. And then COVID-19 hit. Yeah, it slowed us down a little bit. We were rocking and rolling up until uh, about April 1st, and then uh, the whole COVID thing came, and boy, our numbers kind of just stuck right where they were. I think right now, as we sit, we're about 65% completion rate as far as all the addresses in Franklin County that uh, have filled out their census and gave their information in. But that's kind of scary. We were at 69 the last time we did it. So we're behind where we were. We were hoping to be ahead yeah, at we were this point. That. But uh, we lost lots of money the last time. So we're looking to lose even more money if we can't get on the stick. Absolutely. So we figure over the last 10 years, with the number of people that the Census Bureau estimates that did not get counted in, in the 2010 census, that we lost about $10 million in federal funding coming down to the county. And, uh, you know, it's looking like we may be on that same road again if, if we can't get people to voluntarily send in their census uh, and give all their information out. Well, you're kind of past the volunteer state somewhat. You're starting to knock on doors, I understand. Yeah, the, the door knockers went out starting uh, earlier this month, I believe it was August 5th. So if you haven't completed your census, you're gonna be getting a visit very soon from someone from the Census Bureau. They'll have their official identification on, have their mask on, and all they're gonna ask you is some simple questions. Probably take no more than about 10 or 15 minutes of your time. If you don't want the census coming, however, there's still time, you can go online I believe it's uh, www.censusbureau.com and uh, there's a place on there it says self-enroll you click on it and put you and your family's information in there or, or there's a, a 1-800 number that you can call in um, and if you still have the one that they mailed out to you you could always fill that out and put that in the mail yeah. all right so it's important now it, they did have it to where it was going to go to the end of October, but they bumped that up to a September date. Why did they do that? So September 30th or will be the last time that they get numbers for the census. Um, and, and I think a lot of that had to do with trying to get the numbers in by the end of the year, because at the end of the year, they had to report these numbers to Congress and the president um, to have out. And, and that, that helps with the budget and the funding for next year and the years on. So they've set that date back a little bit to September 30th. So it's very, very important we get these numbers turned in really soon. Yeah. Well, I'm kind of concerned overall. I think we're ranked 22nd we in are. the state, which you know puts us up there somewhat high. Uh, the whole state is down, it looks like. Yeah, yeah, they are. Uh, so we are, we're 22nd out of 95 counties in the state as far as self-reporting. But, you know, even then we could be a lot better. We it only helps Franklin County. A lot of people ask, well, what was it good for? We're sitting at one of the prime locations right now. We're at uh, Drafts and Watercrafts down by the lake. And without the numbers from the census, this whole Twin Creeks or anything else that we have as far as progress in Franklin County probably wouldn't be possible. You know, and I'm sure, you know, we're seeing growth every day. If we want to continue to see that growth, then we need to get our numbers up. Absolutely. So these people will say, hey, look, Franklin County is the place to go. We're kind of a retirement uh, and turning into a recreational county is what we're turning into. We are. And, you know, a lot of people come to me since I'm a county official and they'll they'll complain about their property taxes being, being high or, or the county commission having to go up on their property taxes. Well, one of the ways that we keep those taxes down is by funding sources coming from other areas. One of those other areas is the federal government gives us money for schools and highway and free lunches and just about anything else that you can think of that's a program, the federal government is involved in that. And all that comes out off the census numbers, every bit of that. So the higher number we have 
hopefully the less we all had to pay in taxes because we're getting money from the federal government. So now, Bill, I, I want to do it online, but I really don't have a dependable internet. The library has offered their services to anybody that one, doesn't have good internet, and two, may need help. I know that there are some people that have a hard time uh, working with computers and inputting information, and the library has offered their services and the people that work there to help anybody that wants to come there. They'll help them fill their senses out. It's that important. All right, so it's important. Uh, we need to get on the stick. There's some cities that are falling behind further than other cities. Yeah, uh, I think uh, out of our cities, Cowan and Deckard were, were the lower numbers and less performers. So yeah, we, we're looking to those to uh, increase participation. And you know, all the city halls around the county too have offered their services to help their citizens uh, fill the, the census out. All right, so it's important, do your census. We're on the home stretch and we need you to be counted. Yep, and again, like I said, the, uh, if you hadn't filled it out, the door knockers are coming around. So um, if somebody shows up at your house, don't run them off with a broomstick or anything like that. Don't get they're, shotgun out. Yeah, they're there to take your senses. They're not there to hurt you. So they're gonna just ask you for the people that are living in the house and uh, get that information recorded. You know, a lot of people don't know it's, it's federal law and state law that you have to comply with the census, Al. Really? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, otherwise Congress and and uh, our leaders in Washington, D.C. don't realize how many people they've got out there. And all of your voting districts are made up by the number of people that are in each district. And all that information comes from the census, too. That's why it's so important. Absolutely. So you heard it. It's important. Go fill out your census when they knock on your door. Answer the door. Get your census done. We need to get our numbers way up for Franklin County. Thanks for uh, tuning in and help spread the word. Tell people that you know of, ask them if they got their census done. It's kind of like, did you vote? You know, have you done your census? If not, hey, offer to take them to help them get it done if you need to. Go Whatever it, it takes. I think it took me about 10 minutes to, to fill it out. So we're not talking about a lot of time to make a huge impact and a huge difference. All right. Thanks, Bill. Thank you, sir. Thank you for tuning in.